Jackson, are you at that woman's place again? How can you do this to me? I want you to come back at least once. We need to talk. Why do I have to go back? We already got divorced. You have no right to tell me what to do or where to stay. And don't call my future wife that woman. She has a name. Her name is Laura. And she's the love of my life. Laura, was it? She may be your precious future wife to you, but to me, she's nothing but the wench that ruined our marriage. She's the one who seduced you and made you cheat on me. I see no good reason to call her by name. You should be grateful that I'm not calling her anything worse, and you should be ashamed of yourself. You've just got a grudge against her. You're just jealous of her. And why is it that I have to go back for you? Like I said, I thought we already got divorced. So I can be wherever I want. What's the point of me going back? I don't want anything to do with you anymore. You're nothing to me. We decided on who's staying with the children, but there are still many things that need to be discussed. You can't just ignore your responsibilities. You need to come back so that we can talk. We need to settle everything before we can move on. I'm paying for the alimony and for the child support. I'm doing my part. What else do we have to talk about? We decided to split everything in half. What else do you want from me? Do you want more money? Do you want to take everything from me? We still haven't talked about the house and about your parents who live here as well. There are still things that we have to decide before we can finalize our divorce. You can't just leave them hanging. You have to make a decision. You can take the house. I don't want it. I'm going to live with Laura at her house. So I don't need that house. You can take whatever I left there too. Aren't I so generous? <laughs> Laura and I are getting new furniture anyway. We're starting a new life together. So you don't care if I throw away things I don't want to keep? You don't care about the things we bought together? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I don't care. I already finalized the divorce for us anyway. You don't have to worry about that. Will you leave me alone now? Stop bothering me. Is that so? All right, that's fine. Then send me the address to your new place. Why would I tell you the address to my new place? We are already divorced. Why do you want to know where I live now? I shouldn't have to tell you that. It's private information. It's none of your business. You don't have to tell me. I don't care where you live, but you should tell it to your parents so they can go to you. Or are you coming back to pick them up? You should at least tell them when you're picking them up so I can help them pack their stuff by then. Are you crazy? Why would I tell them my new address? They can stay where they are and keep living there. Why do I have to go and pick them up? I don't want to live with them. They're a burden to me. Do you realize what you're saying? They're your parents. You just told me that I get to keep the house. Why would I keep them here with me? We're not even related anymore. They're your family, not mine. I told you that you can keep everything and that includes my parents. You thought you could just keep everything without having to take on any burdens? I'm already paying for the limony, the child support, and so much more. Just because I cheated on you, it doesn't mean you should be able to live on totally easy streets. You should be grateful that I'm giving you anything at all. This isn't a question about money or who has it better. They're your parents, not mine. Since we got divorced, your parents and I have no more connection to each other anymore. Why would we go on living with each other for the rest of our lives? That just doesn't make any sense. You don't have to be related to each other to live together. Think of them as your roommates. They can pay your rent or something. Soon we're going to be throwing a wedding and we'll be going on our honeymoon. We don't have time to be taking care of old people, you know? We have our own lives to live. How can you say that about your own parents who loved you and raised you? Do you have any idea how much trouble you were causing them? How much pain you were inflicting on them? I took care of them for years. How dare you say that I'm the one causing them trouble? You get along with my mom anyway. So what's the problem anyway? I don't think they would get along with Laura. So they'll be happier staying with you. You should stick together. It's a win-win for all. You really don't care about your parents. What are they to you? You can't just cut ties with them like you can cut ties with me. And why can't I? Nothing is stopping me. I'll cut ties with them just like I cut ties with you. <laughs> Tell them I'm no longer their son. Don't be stupid. You're the one who asked them to live with us in the first place. Now you're leaving them and you no longer want to look after them because of that woman? I thought you were selfish when you cheated on me, but I didn't know you could be this selfish. Selfish or not? You don't know where I live. So you don't really have any choice, do you? Or are you going to be selfish too and kick my parents out of the house? 
but you're a kind, decent person. And like me, you wouldn't do that to them, would you? Then do as I say and become their caretaker. I've never met a worse narcissist. You should go see a therapist. I can't believe I married such a selfish jerk. It's like the person I fell in love with was just a facade. Stop whining. You're wasting my time. I'm busy looking for new furniture for our place and getting ready for our wedding. We also have to plan for our honeymoon. I don't have time to be caring about people who don't matter to me anymore. Fine. Do whatever you want. You really don't care about your parents anymore, huh? Then we'll do whatever we want to. Like I care. <laughs> I'm starting a new life with Laura. So I don't care about my old life. I'm not their son anymore. So have fun being their caretaker. Aloha! We just came back from Hawaii. It was amazing. We had the best time of our lives. These two paid for our vacation. I'm so glad I married her. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. What's wrong with you? Why are you messaging me just to rub it in my face? I thought you didn't want anything to do with me anymore. Are you bored or something? Or are you trying to make me jealous? It's just that I'm at the airport and waiting to get our luggage. So I thought I'd let you know how much fun I'm having ever since we got divorced. You know, just to catch up. Okay, is that it? Or is there anything else you want to tell me? Anything else you want to gloat about? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, but there's one thing I wanted to ask if that's alright with you. What is it? I'd feel bad if I was the only one having all the fun. So I wanted to know if you're having fun with your life. How's it going with the old fogies? What is it like to be taking care of those two old people? Do they keep you company? Do you mean your parents? They left a while ago to live with you. They're probably enjoying their new home without having to worry about their former daughter-in-law. They're probably happy to be with their son again. What do you mean they're at my place? I never told you the address. There's no way they'd know where I live now. Even if they somehow find where my place is, they wouldn't be able to get in. It's a secure place. Only Laura and I have the keys. A lot has happened while you were away on your honeymoon. They got into your new place with no problem whatsoever. And they're enjoying their new life at the new place. Do you want to see some pictures of the house party they threw just a few days ago? Since it's such a big and elegant house, they had so much fun throwing the party. They invited all their friends and relatives. They even hired a DJ and a caterer. They threw a party at my new place? You can't be serious. That's my place and Laura's. They can throw a party there without our permission? That's disrespectful. You're just saying that to mess with me. There's no way they could have got inside in the first place. You're just trying to get back at me for leaving my parents with you, aren't you? Ah, you're just trying to ruin my happiness. You may have permission to live there, but you're not the owner of the place. Your parents got the permission from the actual owners to live there. They even made a lease contract, so they officially live there. You have no say in this matter. You're just a guest. Who the hell said they can live there? Laura's parents did. You know the owners? What? Did Laura's parents really let them live there? Of course. Did you forget how to read in Hawaii? Laura's parents let you borrow the house just because you're marrying Laura and you needed a place to live together. But they said the house is too big for you two to live on your own. They said you need some guidance. Why would they say such a thing? They said we could have the house all to ourselves. I don't get why they would let my parents live there without even talking to me and Laura first. You're behind all this, aren't you? You convinced Laura's parents to let my parents live there? You sabotage our relationship? Why would I do something so troublesome just for your parents? All I did was tell Laura's parents that you two ended up together while we were still married. Since they didn't seem to know yet, I thought I'd let them know. I thought they deserved to know the truth. How could you tell them about that? Do you have any idea what's going to happen to us? I do. That's why I told Laura's parents the truth <laughs> that you so clearly wanted to hide so much. I knew Laura's phone number, so I used that to look up more about her, and it led to even more information. I eventually found her parents' contacts, and I was finally able to reach them. They were shocked to learn not only about your affair, but that you abandoned your parents. They felt so bad for your parents, which must be why they decided to let your parents live there. I really appreciate all their help. Now I get this house all to myself, and you get to deal with the consequences of your actions. So that's the real reason why Laura's parents let my parents stay with them. Hold on, you said you spilled the beans. 
How much did you tell them? Well, you lied to Laura's parents that your parents were abusive and cruel and that you had to escape from them. I'm happy that your parents are finally cleared of that false accusation. They are such kind and generous people. Unlike you, the real abuser. What the hell am I going to do now? How can I face them? That's your problem, not mine. Figure it out yourself. Oh, by the way, I shipped all your new furniture to Laura's parents' place. If you want it back, you'll have to grovel to them and beg for their forgiveness. You better hurry up and go see them. I can't face them now. They'll hate me. They gave us their house for free. They paid for our wedding. How can I ever explain myself to them? They'll never forgive me. You said you could quit your job because Laura's parents were rich investors. Aren't you happy that you have to work hard again? I think your life will be more exciting that way, don't you? Life is more fun when you have to struggle and suffer. Stop mocking me. They invested in us because they trusted us. What will they do when they find out we betrayed them? What will they do to us? How can you fix this mess? Well, you could pay them back the money they spent on you. It might take you a few decades, but good luck. I'm sure you can do it. I'm talking about you. You have to take the blame for this. You had no right to go behind my back and tell them everything. This is all your fault. You'll regret this. What are you talking about? You said you were done with me. I don't want anything to do with you either. Why should I take the blame for someone I don't care about? Don't play dumb with me. I won't let you off the hook. You think you can ruin my life and get away with it? I'm coming over with Laura. You better wait for me. Don't you dare run away. You think I'll let you in when you get here? Dream on. There's no way I'm opening the door for you. If you try to break in, I'll call the cops on you. Got it? But that's my house. You can't call the cops on me. I have the keys to the house. The cops can't touch me even if you call them. I don't need your permission to get in. We already changed the locks. Your keys are worthless. You can't use them to get in. <laughs> the keys you have now are trash. How dare you change the lock without my consent? It's my house. You have no right to do that. It was your house. But you gave it to me along with everything else in the house, including your parents. Oh, and the lock to your new place has been changed too. You can't get in without talking to Laura's parents first. Someone as heartless and stupid as you doesn't deserve to live in such a big house. Shut up. This is all your fault. You go and talk to them and get the keys to our house. Sorry, I can't do that. I'm too tired from dealing with you, so I can't move. <laughs> Good luck talking to them and getting the new keys. Bye. Stop messing around. We're not done yet. You have to go talk to Laura's parents. Hey, don't ignore my messages. Answer the phone. Damn you. Ah, woman. Please, just say something. You're the only one I can turn to. I have no one else to help me. Please, I'm begging you. What do you want from me? You're so annoying. You wanted to talk to Laura's parents, right? Didn't you sort things out with them? They said they'll only send the furniture when we find a new place to live by ourselves. My parents won't take me in either. They've changed their phone numbers. I can't contact them at all. What am I supposed to do? How should I know? That's not my problem. Laura and I are staying at a hotel right now. But we are running low on cash. I quit my old job to work for Laura's parents. But now they kicked me out and told me to find another job. Tamia, please. I need your help. Help you? You want me to help you? That's hilarious, lol. What do you expect me to do? I want you to give me back the money I paid you for a limony and ask the judge to lower the amount I owe you every month. I know I'm being a jerk to ask you for money after what I did to you, but I'm desperate. Please. What's in it for me? Why should I help you? It's not like I stole the money from you or anything. It's the money you had to pay for betraying me, and I deserve to get it. Why would I give you back the money? I know I'm asking for too much, but we're really broke. And even a little bit of help would make a difference. You were smiling when you agreed to pay me that money because you thought you were marrying into wealth and you were finally free of me. And now you don't want to pay. You must be joking. Well, I thought I'd be earning more by working for Laura's parents. And I thought I could always ask them for money if I needed it. Don't tell me Laura thought the same as you. Was she planning to live off her parents forever? Well, she was born rich. And she thought her parents would always give her money whenever she wanted it. She never worked a day in her life. So she never worried about money. I guess I was thinking like her about the money. 
How can you be so stupid? I can't believe you both were thinking of mooching off Laura's parents even after you got married. Laura can't help it because her parents spoiled her, but you... How could you think it was okay to rely on her parents so much? Well, Laura told me I could rely on her parents, so I did. And her parents seemed okay with it, so I thought it was fine. She's not the one who earns the money. It's her parents' money. She has no say in it. Why did you trust her, you moron? Who would just believe that without questioning it? Now you're quiet, because you have nothing to say. We divided our assets equally. You should still have some money left. Why don't you use that money to survive until you get a new job? It's all gone. Laura's parents made us pay them back for the wedding and the honeymoon. We had a lot of savings too. I can't believe you spent all that money. How much did you waste on the wedding and the honeymoon? We thought I'd be fine since Laura's parents were paying for all of it. We went for the most expensive option with everything we did. We bought all the new furniture and electronics with their credit cards too. We also bought a new car. But now, they're making us pay for all of that. So all that money is gone and we still have a lot left to pay back. You really thought you could keep living like that? Did you feel good about yourself leeching off her parents like that? Don't you have any pride left in yourself to fend for yourself? Well, now I have to fend for myself. This is why you're in such deep trouble? And this is why I'm asking you for help. I know we didn't have a good end, and I'm sorry for what I did. But you can't abandon me like this. I'm your ex-husband. We love each other at one point. You used to care so much about me. You're right. I loved you at one point, and I used to care about you. But that's all in the past. I thought you were living the new life and throwing away everything from the past. I left all the feelings I had for you in the past as well. None of this would have happened if you didn't cheat on me. So you brought this on yourself. Screw that. It's your fault that my life is falling apart. If you didn't go and tell everything to Laura's parents, I wouldn't be in such a mess. I'd be working a well-paying job and continue living a fun life with Laura. But you came back into my life to ruin everything. That's saying a bit too much. I became a single mother because you decided to go fool around with a woman instead of actually caring for your family and doing what's best for our children. It's no easy job to juggle work and raise the kids all on my own. I'm not even related to your parents anymore, but I still care about them. So I go visit them every once in a while to see if they're doing all right. I'm taking care of your kids and your parents now. You want me to take care of you? What in the world got you thinking that I'd help you after all you've put me through? Ah, everything was going well until we came back from the honeymoon. Only if things kept on going just like that. Why is this happening now? Such an awful timing. It was the best timing. <laughs> it was the perfect timing for all this to happen, which is why I went ahead and did all this. What are you saying? Now that you're married to Laura, you can't run away from all this as easily. It was the perfect time to leave you with the most damage. I knew it. You planned this all along. Here are being so pretentious, but you were just holding grudges against me. You just wanted to get back at me. That's dirty. You think I'm being dirty? Who do you think is the dirtiest? Me? Who got back at you for cheating on me? Or you who abandoned his wife and kids to be with another woman? Not only did you abandon us, you abandoned your parents too. All you could think was about yourself. So what? Are you happy now? You got back at me and looked at me? I'm in a huge mess and I'm pleading with you for help. Are you satisfied with what you've done? Am I satisfied? Yeah, right. This is only the beginning. I'll torment you for the rest of your life. I won't let you get away with only this. What? You're still not done? You still want to get back at me? Of course. You really thought I'd be happy with just this? Do you have any idea how you made me feel when you cheated on me with that woman and left us as if we meant nothing to you? We weren't a rich family like Laura's but I thought we had a good thing going on as a family. I was happy with the way things were until you showed up with that woman. Why should I have to suffer all alone? I'm taking you to hell with me. I'm sorry for that, but you don't have to hold grudges for the rest of our lives. Can't you just let it go? Please, don't ruin my life any more than this. It's already bad enough as it is. Of course, you wouldn't understand how I felt otherwise. You'd never do such a horrible thing to begin with. I can't let you get away and live happily ever after with your rich woman after all the things you've done and said to me. I'll make you regret your choices for the rest of your life. You deserve to have your whole life ruined. I'm sorry it was my bad. I know I hurt you beyond what I imagined. Please forgive me and let it go. I won't hurt you anymore. I won't let you hurt me anymore. Now it's my turn to hurt you. 
You're living such a happy, fun life with that woman. I couldn't let you keep living that way. You think you could go on and live happily ever after even though you destroyed a whole family? All you could think about was your own happiness. Our kids, your parents and I were never included in that. How's your own little selfish happy life going now, huh? I'll never let you get away with this. I didn't give Jackson a dime, so he had to borrow money to survive. After a few months, he finally got a job. But by then, his debt was so huge, he would never pay it off. Laura's parents felt pity for them, so they let them stay in one of their shabbiest houses for a low rent. They realized they had spoiled Laura too much, and it was time for her to face reality. So they're still making Laura and Jackson pay them back for everything they owe. I'm happy they're being tougher on Laura since she was becoming as bad as Jackson. Jackson is struggling to pay Laura's parents and me every month. Laura had never worked before, but now she's juggling multiple jobs to make ends meet. They're so deep in debt that their marriage is ruined, but they can't afford a divorce. So they're stuck with each other even though they loathe each other. As for me, I've adjusted to being a single mom and I love the life I have with my kids. Jackson's parents are doing fine with their retirement money. I still see them sometimes to check on them and let the kids spend time with their grandparents. We're not as close as we were when we shared a house, but they're still good grandparents to my kids. 